Hi guys, Casey Madden here, and I'm so excited because I'm joined with everyone's favorite bachelor couple, Sean and Catherine Lowe. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Doing great. Good, it is so nice to see you guys in person. I follow you on social media. I'm obsessed with you guys. I'm obsessed with your kids. Thank you. How are the kids doing? <laughs> they're so good. They we are have so the cute. best little boys. Yeah, they're awesome. You really do, and I see Isaiah's crawling around all over the place now. Yeah, that just started. Oh my gosh. He's everywhere, and it's fun, just because they get to play around, and we don't have to worry too much about what they're doing, mm -hmm. and they're entertaining each other. Yeah. Do you think that we still want to try for a baby girl? Or? I want a girl. Yeah. I do. I definitely want a girl. I think I, in the beginning of our relationship, everyone asked how many babies do you want. I said five. Mm -hmm. I think I could probably have five babies just oh, by yeah. how we're doing. How we're doing with the two. That's too but many I, kids. I, I, it's always it's expensive that. too. You always said that. So now I say four. Four. Okay. Um, but yeah, I definitely want the next two to be girls. Okay. And are you guys still open for adoption? Yes. Cool. Yeah. So that will that most likely be the next two, maybe? No, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I get a baby girl biological, gotcha. and then adopt a girl. I cannot believe that you guys are the only bachelor couple that is still married. That just boggles my mind. But like, kudos to you guys. You guys are doing something <laughs> totally you. right. Why do you th think that the show worked out so well for you guys? Oh. I mean, it's it's hard. I don't know why, besides just that we've made a commitment. But it's really, really, really lucky. hard. It's really I mean, hard to stay together. Just based on all the factors, I, I I see why people would break up. Just because you don't even know, you don't even have each other's phone numbers when you have a ring on your finger. It's so backwards. It's so crazy. It's very bizarre. Plus, I was really lucky to fall in love with someone who was willing to leave her life behind in Seattle and leave her work and her friends and her family behind to start a new that family. That depressing. A lot of people can fall in love in this fairy tale setting, but when you get back to real life, it's like, oh crap, we live in different cities. We're going to have yeah. to compromise and make some big life altering decisions. That's so true. And that's really challenging. So I'm just really thankful that she was able to do that. And I got to talk about the last Bachelor couple that just split, which we're sad about, know. Caitlin and Sean. But how, so like, bounce back. Talk about bounce back <laughs> with Jason, who's yeah. not too bad looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys talk to Caitlin and Sean? Have you heard from them since this I split? talked to Caitlin a little bit. Uh, I don't talk to Sean. Mm -hmm. any, I mean, I, I talk to them as a couple, yeah. but I, I, I'm much more in contact with Caitlin. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like she's having fun. She's having fun. Yeah. And she's such a fun chick that yeah. it's like, it's perfect. I want, I want to see her happy and uh, doing whatever she wants to do, which is what she's known for. I yeah. love that about her. Yeah. What do you guys think about her being really public, though, on social media with her and Jason? Do you feel bad I for Sean at all? I think it's funny. You do? Well, I mean, I think there's, like, rumors swirling about Sean, so, I mean, I, yeah, I just, a, yeah, I, I know, exactly, heard those so. What are those? Like he was seen he, with some other girl or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I think she can do whatever she wants, as she's always done. That's why she's such a great personality. and. Um, I don't yeah, know. She's she, she should be having fun. And you guys were just at Ari and Lauren's wedding in Hawaii. The pictures looked absolutely incredible. How was it? I mean, it, it was really nice. It was a very intimate ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, Ari, I don't think I've ever seen a groom. I mean, even, sorry, even <laughs> more so. He was consumed by her and it was Aww. so romantic. That's and really you could just cute. tell he, he couldn't keep his hands like off of her. He wanted to, you know, just be with her the whole time. And yeah. he was so happy. So I love seeing him like that. And Ari's a good friend of mine, and I know a lot of people don't like him. Mm -hmm. If you've just watched the show, you know, how could you do that to poor Becca? Um, I think he, going back to his season, he probably made a mistake. But like, what she's saying, when he, what looked at his bride when he saw her like he's just so in love and you know yeah like okay he made a mistake on the bachelor but he really really loves this woman so Aww. i'm just i'm happy to see him happy and of course it's almost like he lets all this criticism just roll off his back because he never mentions it and he doesn't seem to affect him all that much so good for that's him that's impressive shut off the twitter and just enjoy <laughs> yeah. it yeah do you guys think that it was a little bit too soon for them to like rush into getting married after such a controversial season again i think that if you are going to make that choice like ari did something that you know the public is not going to like but you know what's what's right for you yeah i think there's no other way to do it than commit to each other because yeah. That's obvious. You would not do that for anybody but the person. Completely. And so I think if she was ready to, to get married and have a baby, and that's their, I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Got a baby on the way. Might as well get married. Yeah. It's so exciting. Did you guys give them any baby advice? Any parenting advice? No. But Lauren knows, and she she said, hey, I might want to talk to you later about babies. And I'm sure she has so many people that are surrounding her that have good advice for her. But we're here if they need us.
So are you guys watching this season? I am. I'm okay. not I'm not caught up. I've been okay. traveling a little bit. But you are watching. What do we think yes. of Colton? I really like Colton. I yeah. mean, I always knew that there was a parallel between Sean Lowe and Colton. Mm -hmm. And so I always was rooting for Colton just because you reminded me of my husband. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's a really nice guy. I'm excited to see how he continues to unfold as an individual, not mm -hmm. just all the the virgin talk. Mm -hmm. uh, because we saw on the season with Becca that he is well-rounded. He loves his family. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, you know, he's an athlete, but he's also charitable. I mean, there's so many different facets to him that I, I'm hoping that we get to see a little bit more of. Yeah. And Sean, what are your thoughts on him being the other virgin bachelor? Yeah. My <laughs> thoughts that's what are, everyone's talking about. I, I feel sorry for him because <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting peppered with these same questions day in and day out. It's exhausting. Uh, so... I'm, I'm sorry, man. Good good luck is what yeah. I would say to Colton. Good luck. Did Colton ever reach out to you for advice? No, I don't think he needs my advice. Okay, uh, I, I mean, we've, we've interacted on Twitter, and I, I know he's being a good sport about it and, like, doing the Steve Carell poster for 40-Year-Old Virgin and all that stuff. So I think he's handling it really well. He's mm -hmm. just kind of laughing it off and having fun with it. And, and like Catherine said, hopefully they get to explore more of his personality and his, his positive traits than just the virginity stuff. I completely agree. I really do feel sorry for him because I feel like it's the entire storyline this entire yes. season. I'm like, just it's, let him be. Yeah, I know. It sound, It looks now like he's kind of tired of the question. Completely. And it's always the girls asking him. It's never him just bringing it up. Right. Okay, so first, you're going to get laid. But Sean, I have to ask you, you were The Bachelor once. What would be your advice to Colton going into the fantasy suite? Ooh. So, guys, <laughs> far be it for me to give advice to anybody but I it was really important for me to because I knew millions of people were gonna be watching at home and mm -hmm. I've got personal morals and standards that you know totally. I wanted to communicate to everyone watching at home not just the women so I told the producers beforehand you know I want to make it clear in front of the cameras that you know this isn't about sex I just wanted some alone time because I thought that was important with the women when cameras and producers and everyone else isn't around totally um, and I, I think that's very, it was a special time for me and Catherine, you know, because right. then you can maybe ask some things that you don't want to ask right. when there's cameras around. Um, so, you know, if I don't know if you'd call it advice, but that, that's no, not a, that's just, not a bad route to take. You completely. know, just make it known, like, hey, this isn't about sex. Right. Right. Take the pressure off and just enjoy yeah. being in like closed doors. Yep. Thank you guys so much for chatting Thank with you. me. This was so much fun. And guys, if you want to learn more about Catherine and Sean, head on over to OKMagazine.com.